Uh, in this video, I want to talk really quickly about a topic that comes up very frequently for me. Uh, people will hit me up and they'll tell me that they have no support group whatsoever. They can't go out into public, let people know that they have an issue. They don't want their family or friends to know that they have something going on. Um, so it's 100% secret to them. Um, and they have a hard time moving forward because that voice in their head will chop them down at one point and uh, they'll go back to using. So they hit me up and they ask me for advice. And I'm only one person. There's a hundred, so many people hit me up. Uh, each day that it's very hard for me to respond to every single one of them so it's hard for someone to rely on just me for um, motivation or uh, for help so they ask me like what what should I do where should I go um, I don't know what else I can possibly do to keep doing and, and stay on the right path um, and they get very discouraged with the fact that they can't either have the help from their family or their family does not want to help them. All right, they might they, they might have gone overboard a couple times, maybe relapsed, and their family might have cut them off and said, "You know what? Enough's enough. You figured it out on your own." So, the point of this video is that when you're at that point where no one wants to help you, what do you do? Right? Um, and I've met more people than I can count that have used that particular situation as their motivation to keep going. Um, yes, willpower, for the most part, won't be your number, your only thing that will get you to move forward. But when people deny you help, or if they look down on you, if they make you try to, try to make you feel discouraged, the only way that will work is if you believe what they think. All right, so if you don't believe the way they feel about you, the power of their words or the way they treat you have no effect on you whatsoever. So my point is, yes, in my early recovery, I had a lot of people give up on me. They didn't really want anything to do with me. There was a lot of talking about me. And I used that as motivation to turn my life around to where it is now. All right, so you can do the same. Use all the negative energy that's being pushed towards you and use it as energy to do something positive with your life. All right? Nobody, how do I put this? Everybody loves an underdog. All right? You can be that underdog that just soars. All right? Um, I've met people that were living on the streets, had nothing going for them, got clean, and they're running businesses and happy, owning homes, just happy with life. All right? Completely soared and just didn't have anything going for them, all right? And they used that motivation. They were tired of being sick and tired. They were tired of the life they were living. They were tired of the excuses they were making. And one day, they just snapped. And they are like, you know what? It's now. I'm doing it now. I, I can't do this anymore. And they didn't need help from anybody. Okay, they didn't need anybody to, to keep pushing them in the right direction. They knew what they needed to do. And they did it, all right? Um, so maybe you can do it that way. A big part of my life every single day is trying to better myself so I'm better the next day when I wake up, all right? A constant improvement, always always moving forward, never going backward. If you fall down, you get up, all right? Nothing will keep you down. I had two pulmonary embolisms this summer, almost killed me, all right? And now I'm back in the gym working out again, all right? I have dead spots in my lungs because... I just found this out. My lungs have dead tissue in there. So I was wondering why I was breathing so heavy. When I was told that two days ago, it motivated me. You know what? Screw that. I got dead tissues in my lungs. Now I'm gonna, I got to train for an ultra. I got to run another 100 mile race. Just because it pissed me off that I have damaged tissue. That's the way you got to think. Okay? Never let anything stop you from doing what you want to do. Don't let anybody discourage you and push yourself to the next level. Alright? Have a good one.